Good morning. Well, it's an early start with uh, what 7:30 outside the house. Um, I just got to scoot across town, pick Mark up, then head north up into the Surrey Hills to meet up with Steve, the state detective, and another guy that's coming down from the north who I don't know, uh, who's a friend of Steve's. So four of us are camping in the Surrey Hills today. Let's see how this goes. Right, we're up in the Surrey Hills. We've picked up Steve, Mr. State Detective. Um, we've, we've come to the uh, parking location and we're just waiting for the pub to open. And it doesn't open for half an hour, so that's rather annoying. So, uh, yeah, short pit stop, quick beer, then we're off camping. <laughs> well, after a couple of rounds of beer in the pub, uh, we're actually walking now. And I get the impression that this video is going to be a little bit of a, should we say, behind the scenes, what you don't normally see. We're not pissed on it. No, on a, um, a YouTube video for wild camping. But, uh, yeah, should be fun. Right, we've walked in about well, 15 minutes or so. So, yes, uh, we're in the Surrey Hills. I'm not giving any close details because this is a location that Steve uses quite a bit so I'm not giving too much away um, it's very steep in places but here it actually looks like there's an old track an old road so I'm basically going to set up where I'm standing and the others you know just a bit further along Mark is probably to the left of that tree and Steve maybe below it don't know yet See how it works out, really. A quick view from the footpath. I'm right there. Uh, walking along. Can't see Steve's tank hardly at all because it's green. It's a little bit bright. You can. You can just about make out Mark's brown one there. But let's face it, people walking down here, they're probably not even going to be looking over there. Especially as it's quite a popular route with uh, mountain bikers, so they're going to be hurtling along. They're not going to be looking for us. And by the time it gets late, and we're, you know, thinking about a fire, well, they would have all gone home anyway. Right, that's me all set up. He's using the One Tigress Backwards Bungalow because it's light, easy to carry, good space. Nemo air mat, and I have got my Vango 375. We're, we're up in the hills. It's going to be a bit cooler up here. Um, just above freezing, I think, overnight. So I've also got, I don't know if you can see in the corner there, my British Army softy jacket for a bit of insulation to stick on in the evening. But yeah, that's me all set up here. Let's have a wander over this way. Here's young Stephen with Hello, his chap. Fox 1 V2. Fox 1 V2, old chap. You mean to say you've got something with the name of a German flying bomb on it? Uh, yes. That's a bit worrying. A bit from... like you see, old chap. Yeah, a bit worrying, but no, small tent, good space. I've, I've got something similar to that, and they're, they're actually very good, aren't they? It's a bit like a bivy bag. I mean, I haven't got a bivy bag. I imagine it would be this. You can you can swing a cat in there, but to yeah. be honest, it's just it's something to sleep in. It's something to sleep in, yeah. And um, yeah, I quite like it. I got given it actually by um, Alex Beams. Yeah. Random hater, who you know. So yeah, yeah, sure. He gave it to me and uh, as a gift, I think he. No, it, so. I've got something very very similar. Not not a OEX one, but no yeah. problems at all. Yeah, it's, uh, plenty plenty space. You've got a little porch and, you know, yeah, you know. somewhere to sleep, enough room to ram your bag in the side there. Yeah. It's yeah. it's all you need, isn't it? It's yeah. all you need. And yeah. over here, we've got Mr. Markey. Look, got your favourite thing, the flashlight. Oh my God, he's got that poxy light again. You okay, he's gone with the, the Hill Zero. Um, very impressive tent. Mm, don't it. really need to say anything about this. I said it all in the one of my other videos. I'm really impressed with that. It's it's such a great space. I'm very impressed with that. Quick look round our location. We're on on sort of a, a little plateau. Excuse the planes going overhead. 
we're sort of like sandwiched between Gatwick and Heathrow, roughly where we are. This drops away down there, very steep, sort of 45 degrees. It looks like prime badger territory. I don't know whether we get any visitors later, but there's a bit of a two plateaus that run through here, actually there and up up where we're set up. Looks like it may have been an old access road or something at some time. And literally just the other side of them trees, that's the public footpath. But yeah, it's a quiet area. We'll be fine. Yeah, that wood was so dry, wasn't it? It's going to catch really easy. Got a small supply there. That should keep us going. Radio's working, it's all good. Yeah, radio's on. We've just come down one step from the, the tier where the tents are. So, uh, yes, nice fire. Right, the chicken's almost done. The chips are on. This is going to be a bit of a treat. Chicken and chips in the woods. Right, it's chicken and chips time. Courtesy of the steak Something detective. Yeah, like just having a, a quick bowl. sort out of a few more pieces there. Mark's going for his sauce. Yeah. Another round of chips in the frying pan. Right, that's enough of this. I'm going to get on with food. <laughs> right, dinner is done. Extra large chicken. Well, three of us finished that. Um, and a pile of chips. There's just a few chips left on the paper over there, but we've. Uh, We've done it all justice, and that was that was very nice. Thank you very much, Steve. You're greedy. You're welcome, old chap. Sweetie, greedy, greedy. Greedy. Sorry, Growing bo- You enjoyed that extra large bird, Alan? Yep. Not only did I eat all that, I've also done a pudding as well. Mark's had dick behind him in line. Oh, I know, but that's, that's, that's Mark. Mark. He's Mark a, you know what these youngsters are like? They're always fucking hungry. I do like a bit of dick in the woods. <laughs> right, it's about 10 o'clock now. Just chilling out around the fire, moved in a bit closer because it is actually getting a bit chilly. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, good evening was had by one and all. Right, that's me wrapped up for the night. It's been a, a really nice, relaxed evening. Just uh, sitting around the fire, eating, drinking, and talking a load of cobblers as per normal. Um, it's just after 11. And it has dropped quite chilly. Um, we should be just above freezing, hopefully. Maybe a little below, who knows. But I'm in the big bag, in the nice warm bag. So I think I'll be fine. Right, see you in the morning. morning it's about seven o'clock <clears throat> it's a bit chilly but it's bright I slept really well um, good old sleeping bag didn't let me down I woke up about three o'clock in the morning uh, and I was actually sweating <laughs> I was too hot so I had to take the jumper off take my woolly hat off and uh, you know strip the strip down because I was overheating but uh, yeah, apart from that, went back to sleep and slept till sort of just now. Just uh, lit up the little old Trangia stove, boiled some water, made a coffee. I don't think the others are about yet. I'm not hearing any movement. But uh, yeah, we had a really good evening. Really, really chilled out, relaxed, just, just sitting around fire. It was it was a very pleasant evening no no sort of real pressure um the other guys didn't really do any filming either um and it was nice just to have some sort of time off a little bit so this video will be a little bit different in a way 
because I haven't brought my tripod, you know, I haven't been setting up shots at the right angle, not that I do much of that, but you know what I mean, it literally has been, just get the phone out of the pocket, film something with the phone in your hand, stick it away, carry on talking. <laughs> so yeah, the video is going to be a bit of a, a mishmash, a bit ad hoc, but uh, I've enjoyed sort of not taking it quite so seriously. Well, that's most of my stuff packed into the bag for the time being. Just leaving it to air out with the front up. There was a tiny bit of condensation, but not really much. And I did have it completely zipped up last night, so that worked out okay. Steve and Mark are just getting sort of organised. Steve's got his kettle on. It's like a scene from Normandy over here, Alan, old chap, don't you know? Is it a bit, a bit rough in there? <laughs> and uh, Mark's, I'm, I'm not sure what Mark's doing. I'll get the air out my mat. <laughs> oh, is that what you were doing? I thought it was some sort of strange dance, or he's trying to wriggle in your trousers or something. I do it every time, Alan, you just don't see it, because normally my tent's closed. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, and a, a, a little side note, um, Mark wet his pants overnight. I mean, we. I won't go into it. I'll, I'll let him tell that tale at some point. It's but this morning, it ignore what he's saying in the background. <laughs> ignore <laughs> this morning. Um, Mark had to take his pants off and dry them over his gas stove. I'm not joking, am I? No, it's true. It, it, ha uh, it happened. It actually yeah, happened. It was a pungent smell up in the wind. <laughs> I don't wear pants, I wear boxer shorts, and it wasn't we. I didn't wet myself, it was sweat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We, we believe that, don't we? Come sniff them. No. I don't know about you, but my, no. pants, my pants weren't wet this morning. Mine weren't wet. <laughs> Your, <laughs> yours weren't wet, no, no. no. <laughs> see, all these things you don't normally see in a video. Hmm. <laughs> it's feeding time at the zoo. Right, we're all done. Walk you back to the car. We all had fun, didn't we? We had a, good time. We had a giggle. We had a giggle. Yeah, quite relaxed. So, uh, yeah. See, so we get in. See you on the next one. <laughs> See you, old chaps. Bye.